I'm back and this is Minecraft 1.3.2. Oh. If you have been following my video post on um, YouTube uh, that that I didn't um, add to the playlist, oh. you will probably know that I have been uh, wrestling with this upgrade for the last, mm, I don't know, maybe six hours or so. Only six hours. I, I, I actually don't know how long I've been um, wrestling with it, but let me just tell you. Um, <laughs> it was not a fun experience. Um, there was an obscure thing that was going on with um, connected connected textures. Oh, I must have harvested that yesterday. Uh, yeah, so something was going on with connected textures, so that if you, I, I use MC Patcher and then load up Mod Loader and Better Than Wolves and Timber and just install my texture pack and go with that, right? But MC Patcher. Um, starting with the version for 1.3x, I don't know if it was 1 or 2 because I didn't use it for 1.3.1, but um, apparently it automatically offers support for connected textures. And um, it seems that was contributing to, um, uh, what am I trying to say? Oh my god, I am so brain fried because of all the information digging and reinstalling of Minecraft I've been doing all day, but um, so what does it do? Oh, for instance, um, if you try to place axles sideways, so horizontally, or if you try to place something called a dirt slab that has been newly implemented, I do not have a texture pack for it yet, but it's basically half a half slab of dirt. Um, or if uh, this is something I read on the Better Than Wolves forum addressing the issue, but if you tried to place a hand crank, for instance, um, those would all freeze you out from the game and crash you. Oh, let's put myself back on peaceful for now. And so, yeah. Uh, I had no idea what was going on. I thought a duck 5200 was helping me investigate the issue and we kind of ca came to the pseudo conclusion that it must ha have something to do with MC Patcher, but we really didn't know what it was. And so I was just uh, crying, well, not really crying, but yeah, I was about to give up and just go with Optifine when... I got Gatto on Skype, and he was looking through my crash report, and he recognized that one of the lines on the crash report actually had to do with connected textures. Thank you, Gatto, for being a genius. And so, yeah, um, we got that all cleared out in a matter of minutes, and here I am with Better Than Wolves 3.93. Oh. oh, to be peacefully running around, chopping trees, listening to cows. It's so nice. Beep. But now, back to business. You may have noticed in my inventory, I have a brand new battle axe and a brand new mattock and some, um, what are these? Enchanted derp armor. <laughs> Enchanted armor. Um, after my excursion night out at in the desert with all those mobs, my I, armor and battle axe took quite a beating. And my Matic was also about to run out, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to get a brand new set and head out to the nether because I don't want to run out of, you know, armor or my tools when I'm in the nether. But then, 
I was watching some other people's videos, and I watched them die horrible, horrible deaths by falling in the lava, being attacked by pigmen, uh, what else? Oh, gotta turn off that music. Attacked my pigmen, yeah, blowing up with gas balls and stuff like that. And I remembered, you don't take your best new shiny items to the nether. You take the downtrodden, almost broken armor that... Well, maybe not the armor. The armor you probably want you know, a decent pair, a, a set. But um, yeah, you know, I definitely don't think I want to be taking my precious, precious soul forged steel items to the nether. So... What I'm gonna do is get me some stone tools. I haven't used stone tools in forever. But uh, get me some so st stone tools and today we are going to go look for a nether fortress. All right, so I have loaded up on stone tools. Probably went a little overboard, but uh, <laughs> I can always leave them in a chest inside the nether. Um, got myself a bunch of torches, a crafting table, some swords. Oh, you know what? I should also take some wood with me as well. Just so I can create more swords if need be. Um, oh, and I remember why this was empty, because you can't use water in the nether anyway. Derp. Alright, so got my bow and arrows. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to take on the nether, so here we go. Into the breach we go! First of all, I guess it would be a good idea to set myself on non-peaceful mode. And as you can see, I had previously come here to drop off a bunch of stuff that I thought I would need to make a tree farm. Uh, I just read in the comments... Um, Sergeant Slate left a comment telling me that um, redstone torch burnout seems to be primarily a creative mode issue and so yeah I had I had been holding off on building anything here due to that reason but now that I know that it might not actually be a real thing in the real world I might just go ahead and build it sometime soon after I find nether wart that is all right so Hmm. I haven't been here in non-peaceful since that first, first scary um, encounter with the ghasts quite a while back, but um, I think what we'll do first is decide on a direction to go. So, hit oh, con oh, F3, but yes, there we go. Hmm, which direction shall we go? From the little I've um, explored around here, I know that uh, at least in the immediate vicinity, there aren't any nether fortresses, so I will have to go quite a ways. But I don't want to be roaming around indefinitely um, in the dark here forever, so... Oh, I also want to leave a few of my torches. Um, I don't want to be roaming around indefinitely, so what I'll do is set a limit for myself. I think, hmm, maybe a thousand blocks will be the extent to which I go. So a thousand minus one thousand in that direction, or yeah, and minus a thousand in that direction, and then plus and plus one thousand in each, all of those directions. Since I'm standing by this entranceway anyway, I think I'll start off by going here, this way. Oh! And of course I had to end up with the nether that had the hilliest and hilliest of formations hmm is there ever a nether that is not bad I don't think such a concept exists you know like the nether is bad oh run into a wall immediately which way do I want to go 
Hmm. You know what? Let's just go around this way. See what we end up with. Oh, hello, pigmen. You look very scary today. Oh, another lag. Haven't experienced one of those in quite a while. All right. Mm, I don't have a ton of... Wait, did I hear a guest? Oh, duh! Oh, sorry for yelling. Oh, shoot. Where, where? Oh, hi. Return to sender, maybe? Yes? Not quite returning to sender, but um, I guess I'm aiming too high. I don't know what the deal is. Mm. He's just stuck there, and I can't get over there. I guess I can always just circumvent the situation. I don't have to face him. I don't have to kill every mob I come across. I should remember that. Okay. Oh man. Oh. oh, hello, ghast. I only have X amount of arrows on me. I can't. Oh, I hit him. Mm. Do I want to get up there and finish him? And I actually need to collect my arrows. So, yeah, I will go up. Mm. Nether lag. Bad. All right. So, those of you who may have been wondering why I don't do live commentary and don't play on um, non-peaceful may have your answer now. I am a scaredy cat and I don't do well under pressure. Ooh, hi ah! Okay. Did I get all my arrows? Not quite. Or did I? I had 20 something on me. Oh, you know what? 20 something is not gonna cut it. <sighs> okay. Hello. I hit you. Oh, guest here. Nice. Oh, where'd all my other arrows go? Hmm. I know I had 28. But, um, oh well. Oh, another fortress! <laughs> Hello, guest. Thank you. <gasps> Ooh, blaze spawner. Hmm. <gasps> okay, I'd better get down there. Oh, I thought he was coming after me. Okay, okay. I have to dig my way down. Ouch. But what is the safest way? You know what? I could just jump down and then run up to the blaze spawner and then just um. Oh man. Hmm. Oh, blaze over there. You know what? I think I want to work my way around to that part of the Nether Fortress if I can. See if I can. Um. Yeah, go safely down that way. All right. Doop de doop de doo. Hmm. Okay. Um Don't fall into the lava. Don't don't Oh, oh, all right. Nice pathway down to the fortress. Oh. <laughs> Do I have to fight blazes now? I'm going to take fall damage when I fall down there. Um I think there was a way Dan oh, wow. Did that just update? Oh, yeah. The gravel just updated and fell <gasps> right under my feet. That would have fallen too, right? Nope. Yep. It would have fallen. Okay. Well, I think I will just jump off this ledge. Oh. 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 
I'm sweating. My palms are sweating. <laughs> I hate non-peaceful. Okay. Make a dash for it. Kill those blazes. Ah. Ah. I'm hit. I'm hit. I'm hit. Ah. 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 Die. Okay. Okay. One down. One down. And eat. Eat. Oh, no. Why are more spawning? I'm not... I wasn't close to the spawner, was I? Oh man. Shoot. Whew. 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 Okay, I think I'll go in here. Oh no! <gasps> There's more. <gasps> uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, bad, bad place to be. Bad, 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 bad. Ah! 